Hello, everybody, and welcome to this edition of Channel Talk, uh, eChannel News uh, edition of webinars. And today we are lucky to have um, both Amit Berkat, he's a CEO of Perimeter 81, and Karen Mesnick, she's the marketing director at Perimeter 81. Today's topic is going to be interesting. It's about uh, how to increase your network security with just a few clicks, meaning it's very simple to uh, make your network uh, more secure. And without further ado, I'm going to introduce and let uh, Karen and uh, Emmett take this over. Karen and Emmett, welcome. Thank you, Julian, for having us today. So as you mentioned, today we're going to discuss how to increase your network security with just a few clicks. So joining the webinar today is Amit Bereket, our co-founder and CEO, and myself, Karen. We are Perimeter 81, a SaaS security service dedicated to transforming secure network access for the modern and mobile workforce. And essentially what we're doing is what Dropbox did for files with secure network access. Dropbox moved the physical network file system to a simple cloud managed file sharing service and we are moving physical VPN gateways to an easy cloud managed network access service. So today we'll be discussing some emerging network trends and threats and discovering how SDP software defined perimeter architecture and the zero trust security model can help to protect against them. So as we are all well aware, the corporate network has expanded. We are increasingly mobile and use BYOD devices. By 2020, mobile workers will make up nearly 75% of the US workforce and 81% of businesses now offer or plan to offer a BYOD friendly workspace. We also use the cloud. Worldwide spending on public cloud computing is expected to reach 162 billion USD by 2020. And Gartner predicts that by 2020, a corporate no cloud policy will be as rare as a no internet policy is today. Summit over here, I would like to reiterate that um, both cloud and mobility are creating a mega shift that is disrupting the traditional network and security as we know it. And of course, we also work on public Wi-Fi. By 2020, the number of public Wi-Fi hotspots is projected to reach 432 million, which is seven times the 2015 figure. But with this flexibility does come network threats. So less than 10% of all organizations report they have complete awareness of what devices access their networks. 1.5 billion sensitive files, including payroll information, credit card details, medical data, and patents for intellectual property have been exposed by misconfigured servers, storage, and cloud services. And one in five people and three in 10 senior business managers have been hit by cybercrime while on the go, which is no surprise considering that it takes a hacker less than two seconds to launch an attack on an open network. So what is the solution? Well, traditional VPN technology is no longer effective. It is hardware based, very expensive, difficult to install and manage, offers slow connection speeds, is hard to scale, and it is not cloud friendly. Meanwhile, open source software solutions are also problematic. They involve complicated and lengthy setup, as you can see here in the image, time consuming manual configuration, slow connection, high overhead and latency, and furthermore, they lack visibility. So given that a secure network as a service based on the software defined perimeter architecture and zero trust security model is key. This technology is cost effective, easy to set up and manage, offers immediate updates and upgrades, is highly scalable, and it integrates seamlessly with the cloud. So what is the software defined perimeter? This emerging technology simply and securely connects employees to cloud-based and internal network resources with a software-defined approach. So the architecture includes three components. The controller, this is essentially the brains of the operation. It's the cloud management hub that allows the IT manager to easily deploy private gateways to specific resources, audit network activity, and implement policy-based segmentation. Then you have the client, which provides employees with immediate encrypted resource access across devices based on specific user and group permissions. 
and the gateway. The gateway is the secure pathway that grants private access to critical cloud environments, SaaS services, and on-premise resources otherwise invisible to unauthorized users. So SDP technology goes hand in hand with the zero trust security model, which due to many of the reasons we discussed earlier, indicates that the traditional network we once knew can no longer be trusted. And this makes it necessary to completely hide critical resources from bad actors while only granting access based on multiple layers of permissions, such as device, location, team, and identity provider. So let's examine now how these layers of permission come together. So the first layer of authentication we have is through device. So this consists of lightweight and easy to use client applications for all platforms, which instantly provide team members with a bank level encrypted internet connection and access to the specific resources they need. And in the case of our service, these clients include patent pending automatic Wi-Fi protection. This ensures that access to critical resources and company communications always remain secure, even over public Wi-Fi networks. So how are these employees able to use these clients to access specific resources? So the next piece of the puzzle is location. With these client applications, employees can connect to private servers with dedicated IPs, and in doing so, access resources that are tied to a specific location and hidden from the public internet, which means that these resources are only available to authorized users. And it's easy to determine which employees will have access to certain dedicated IPs with easy group creation. So this is where verification by team comes into play. Sales, development, marketing, and customer success teams can each be assigned specific private servers, providing them with access to on-premise SaaS and cloud resources specifically designated for their team. And secure policy-based access can be further ensured through identity provider and single sign-on integration, which offers seamless user and group policy control. Along with identity provider integration, two-factor authentication offers yet an additional layer of account security. So this ensures that even if a hacker does receive access to account credentials, they cannot log in and steal confidential company information. And all of this is controlled and monitored through a unified multi-tenant management portal, the controller, which we referred to in the SDP architecture earlier, which includes full auditing and monitoring, fast gateway deployment, easy network segmentation, and anomaly detection. So with this platform, partners can manage multiple organizations and networks all in one place and enjoy consolidated billing, auditing, and reporting. So that being said, here are three very common use cases and how technology like ours ensures network security with just a few clicks. So the first common use case is accessing internet systems from outside the corporate network. As we mentioned earlier, the demand for remote access from multiple sites has greatly increased. With the software defined perimeters unified architecture, internal systems can be accessed by remote employees without having to complete difficult setup and configuration for each system or service. Amin, is there anything you'd like to add to this specific use case? Yeah, so um, it's true that uh, cloud is growing significantly, but we still have lots of applications and services that are running on premises that are almost impossible to migrate into the cloud. So having a system that allows you to access resources both in the cloud and on premises through a unified platform has a highly increased value proposition. So the next use case is securing BYOD devices. So while BYOD devices reduce costs for organizations and may increase employee productivity, they do present problems for unified security management. Now with cross-platform applications and automatic Wi-Fi security provided by Perimeter 81, Holistic and advanced encryption is present on any device, regardless of the make and model. And the last common use case is hiding cloud environments from the public internet. So as we pointed out earlier, many data loss incidents over the cloud come from misconfiguration and exposed servers. But with Perimeter 81, you can easily lock cloud services to dedicated IPs. So access can only be granted to authorized users reducing the risk of data loss. 
And Amit, is there anything else you'd like to add here to this specific use case? Yeah, so there are actually like multiple ways to integrate with cloud environments and on-premises services, on-premises firewalls. Uh, there are two common ways. The common way is basically creating a tunnel. We've integrated with AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud over APIs, and we are basically extending the network to our cloud gateways that allowing you to control which VPCs, virtual private cloud, uh, segments uh, users can access and to segment them just like a submarine and more importantly have an audit and trail log that allows you to in both enforce and investigate uh, access to your uh, resources in the cloud and this is something that is not possible today both increase productivity as the development operations are being done easily uh, you don't need to deal with uh, lots of security as you basically lock down your entire cloud resources uh, to your perimeter really one network from one end but for the other end you have a complete visibility uh, which is missing today while benefiting with the facade to your either cloud or on-premises um, networks that you, you run which uh, everything that i've said that applicable for the cloud applicable also for the, your on-premises network so yeah, in summary, um, this technology is the way of the future. So by 2021, Gartner predicts that 60% of enterprises will have replaced traditional VPNs with SDP technology. And as you can see here, we are very proud to have been recognized by Gartner as a sample vendor in this field. Um, it's definitely something that is becoming more and more necessary as the network expands and the way that we connect and work changes with the rise of cloud and mobility. So um, we're very happy to be here today to present this new technology to you. And um, yeah, we'd be happy to take any questions. So I'll jump in here, it's Julian here. So um, I've got the first one here. Um, sure. So um, we talk a lot about the traditional network security appliances that's there, but, but why are they not sufficient? for today's world? Hi, Julian, I'll take the, that question. Actually, it's a great question. Um, <clears throat> as I said at the beginning, both cloud and mobility are changing the way we walk and um, creating a mega shift that disrupting the 30 years of uh, network and security, uh, network security appliances as we know it. Um, users are now not longer at the corporate, working from everywhere. And sometimes you enter to our office, you see it completely empty. Not because people are not working, because they're working on the go uh, from their mobile, uh, working with SaaS services like Office 365, working with public cloud environments. And um, what it leads is like the corporate does not exist. You don't have one large premise. You have many different premises. And um, the traditional network appliance and MPLS lines does not fit any longer uh, to the modern world. Today, the internet works extremely fast, is accessible from anywhere, and you can basically create your own secure network in the cloud that provides you a unified network security that is easy to manage it's software defined and, and there are many advantages for software like automatic updates and new features that are coming every day. And, and more importantly, integrate seamlessly to cloud environments. I see. So yeah, so there's definitely a case to be made uh, for this new type of technology. And I guess that's why Gardner is looking at this uh, new type of technology as the way of the future. Um, mm -hmm. We're getting a lot of questions from people regarding the the latency issue. So with software defined type solutions like this, does that impact the speed at which we access these networks? Can you talk a bit about that and why and why not? So again, uh, we as a, the company, we have years of experience of running networking scale in the cloud. And, and that's what we are specializing uh, with. And it's extremely important to uh, not harming the employee productivity and, and to deliver a service that works everywhere, anytime, and works fast. In order to do so, we have pops all over the world. And, and sometimes, and 
with leading hosting providers. And most of the times we even improve your, uh, your bandwidth and your access to the internet as we are making sure that the routes are preferable and, and uh, not necessarily the shortest route is the fastest one. Uh, so we invested in that a lot and we have integrated to tens of uh, different pops all over the world and uh, we are making sure that user that is uh, based in Australia will work with a uh, pop in Australia and one in the US will work with a few tens that we have in the US and that's uh, something that uh, the, the customers shouldn't worry about at all. Got it. So. So basically, you're, with your experience right now, you can pretty much say that there there is no downside to the latency um, as as a net effect, correct? Correct. Okay, got it. So uh, we are getting a, another one. To, um, I know we talked a bit about how easy this thing is to deploy. Um, the so everybody would like to know sort of. Um, so what's involved in um, in deploying this? Uh, maybe you can talk a bit about what's involved from the uh, the MSP perspective and from the end user perspective. How much heavy lifting is involved to kind of deploy this thing? So that's uh, something um, that shouldn't take more than 15 minutes uh, to set up end to end. Uh, for MSP specifically, we offer a multi-tenant uh, platform that allows them to switch between the clients and to manage everything, and even a mobile from the mobile on the go. Um, basically speaking, once you create a new account uh, with Prim31, you create your uh, virtual networks uh, in the cloud uh, that are segmented uh, based on different users, policies, and user groups. Everything being done on the fly easily. Uh, very in a Dropbox, uh, easy to use, uh, like uh, interface, super intuitive and automatic. And I think that uh, now users and are looking for uh, for instant uh, feedback, instant setup. There is no need to wait for the support to help you to do so. Everything is self-service from creating your network to connecting your Active Directory on-premises. And this is something that invest a lot. That's excellent. So you basically streamlined the whole process and you've made it basically lots of point and click to kind of get, and I've seen the technology being deployed and it's uh, quite astonishingly, amazingly um, uh, efficient. Uh, we actually only have one last question, Amit and Karen, um, which is kind of a really cool last logical question is how do they experience and test uh, the solution? Uh, are you offering them any way for them to um, play with it and to test this to see if it works for them? So sure, and they can reach us at sales at prim31.com. We can issue free trials and we'd love to um, get them on board and to explore and to have a platform tool and answer any questions in their person. Julian, so. I just wanted to add also, I mean, we're very channel forward. So we do offer some very attractive benefits for our partners, including 500 USD of first deal credit, um, we have a new dedicated partner portal with a free to use CRM service and co-branded marketing assets. And we also provide lead sharing and deal registration as well. So um, yeah, we're definitely interested in connecting with partners and showing them around the service and working together. Excellent. And I guess so for the audience out there, uh, there's really no barrier of entry here. Just simply uh, try it out for free, right? And if you like what you see, then sign up and uh, I think the, the program that you guys have is also fantastically uh, rich as well uh, for the partners. And remember guys, it's all recurring revenue here. So once you sign up your partners, you get recurring revenue for the lifetime of your partners. So that's all the questions uh, we've got so far. Um, is there any last uh, comments you'd like to do, uh, Karen and uh, Emmett, before we, sh we shut down today? That we're super excited. Um, we are channel focused and we'd love to uh, follow up with each one of you in person. Don't hesitate to send us questions or thoughts that you might have. Uh, we'll attend it very quickly. Great. So I want to thank you very much, uh, Karen and Emmett. It's been a pleasure. Sounds like an awesome solution. Thank you, everybody, for joining us and uh, look forward to the next time. Cheers. Thank you so much, Julian. Thank you.